gotta have you gotta have people, bro. You gotta have you gotta have different cities. You got maybe they go pull some people in and they try to move to Arkansas. It's gonna take them a little while to get up off the ground. But what if you go, you know, shove yourself in Arkansas? You're like, hey, look, I need somebody to come into the city. We got some problems. We need some, some out of towners to come in. That's how you when you see the mob movies or some of the most gangster movies. They go right. when, some, when it's some real heat in the street. What they go do? They go bring them out of towners in. Let's go get this hit. Go, go get this hit for me. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to, you know, you gotta be able to see beyond the. You gotta be able to see beyond what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, but you know, you know, Franklin don't be. A, Franklin ain't sending no hit. Franklin's scary. Franklin's scary. Look, he tried to go talk to, what's his name? Talk to Davis. Talking about what is that his name? That ain't his name. Uh, they, what's his, what's the, what's the, the real estate guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real estate dude. He's gonna try to talk to him and do the long route. But I think that's more his mama play, though. I think that's more his mama play. You know what I'm saying? That's his mama. That's his mama uh, territory. That's her field. That's what she played. You see how she lit up at the table? She all yeah. she must she she lit up at the table. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having a look, having a look. They, they crab or whatever they eat, smiling and shit. You know. <laughs> uh, he start and he and look. They about to watch their back with that guy. He's he man. He a snake, bro. He'll he oh he'll, yeah. You can see it. You're like, man, I've been in this business for a long time. I've been by relationship, and I kind of find out you guys get, get got your money quickly. You know what I'm saying? You got without the relationship, so you already know he already bought that snake stuff. And then she, he want to know about their business, how you guys getting. He's like, heard you getting your money. He's like, and he kind of a roundabout way saying, hey, are you you getting dope money? Like, how you getting your money? Like, how what you doing? She's like, oh yeah, they come from the street. We go right different banks we go do businesses and blah blah this and blah 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 by the time we come to you it's, it's invisible so you know he's like okay i know the business now okay let's go invest and then all of a sudden you get you start investing and he's gonna be like clay davis from from the wire bro he's gonna get you he's gonna snake hey, yeah he's gonna get him and, and then they're gonna have to then they're gonna have to kill him and then you see they're gonna have to do you see the pop say he's like man i've been knowing this guy from way back in the day he's a snake he been a snake and she like i don't care he's a snake um if he try to bite him, be head off I'm gonna go get another yep. go in the bed with another state so she she, yeah. she that's her feel that's her wheelhouse and I think she pushing him to do that so he can get out the streets but at the same time I think that's 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 pushing her ego as well too because like she making big business deals because before Franklin came along she was you know what I'm saying running around you know doing little apartment deals you know what I'm saying being yeah. popular, just something like that but now she actually going out there making big business move you know what I'm saying yeah, she so, like that shit yeah she like it bro so she feeling yeah. her too. So I mean, so yeah. it's all that, that money changing. That, that, that money changed that whole the whole dynamic of their relationship and the family. It's just they doing everybody's kind of going out like drones. Just want to sell speakers. That's all he want to do. <laughs> the auntie want to run the club. You know what I'm saying? Run the she, club, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She about you know what I'm saying? She about leveling up too. She's like, hey, I got some people out in Arkansas. We can go make some moves. You know what I mean? So you got it. You at, at what point do you do it? Do you wait for the war over when everybody did? Then you try to go out and expand. Or do I just, I just, you got no. Nah, I, I feel you. I just think he got too much going on at one time. Like his, his, his head is at too many different places. That like, like you got to. I feel like he need to eliminate so, some problems. Like hey, I got, I got, I got to deal with some some situations. Like he's, he's, he worried about. He still got to worry about. He worried about Scully. He worried about the the, the real estate dude because you know what I mean he got to watch him. Still gotta keep an eye on man boy. You know what I mean? Leon, Ivy. And then you gotta uh, uh worry about old Teddy P. I mean uh Teddy Reed, you know what I mean? Like like they say, man, smooth. Uh, let's say what's it we say, calm seas don't make a good sailor. You gotta get when it's rough, bro. That's when you really get out there and you, <laughs> bro. Like that boy, he know, bro, he know that the war, his fate, and he because he said I already said, man, my uh, he said my, my job is pretty much limited. So he know that you like how much time do I got with this war going on? Because as soon as that war start to dial down, bro, that coke gonna start down. He moving eight million a month, bro. Like he moving eight million a month, bro. Like how much more do he can move? You can't move that much more product in the city, like besides making some more noise, bro. You gotta kind of get out there. It's like you gotta do it while you got the, you know what I'm saying? While you got all the product, you got the purest product. You gotta, you gotta expand. Like it's, you gotta try. Like it's never, it's never gonna be a perfect time. It's always gonna be war in the streets. It's never True. gonna be in the streets. It's but never he ain't built for that. That's a, it'd be different if he was like, okay, but, it's war. But, but, but I'm. A, I, but most gangsters and most 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 of them guys who be on them top like that, they really ain't, you know what I'm saying, the hitters like that. The hitters don't never make the real bosses though. The real, you know what I'm saying? A hitter is normally a hitter. Like that's what he about. Right, but he but but I feel like at a certain point he gotta make those those hitter uh decisions. Like, hey, uh, he got to go. He got to go. He tried to though. It just backfired on him. if the boys hold it water. They would have got Scully at the at the um at the um the warehouse. If the boy stayed in the in the cage long enough and we want trigger happy, 
Scully come in, you get the hit, bam, he gone. You took out the distributor, you replaced him. It just went bad. So he tried it. It just, you know what I'm saying? It just didn't go off. It just didn't go off right. So he yeah. made, he had to, because he's like, hey, look, you know, they said, hey, who we going to get? Scully or it's going to be Man Boy? He made the decision. Oh, we going to get, we finna go get Scully. So he hey, made yeah. it. He got, hey, he got to finish it off, though. He can't be sitting there talking about uh, singing, you know, singing Kumbaya. Like, he look, he going there, seeing everybody, all these crack crackheads, and he feeling some type of way. Look what I'm doing in my community. Hey, bro, you knew what was about to happen? Yeah, this is you. Frankly, you did. Hey, you you made the bed, bro. You got the laying. And that's the thing. He trying to remove himself from the streets, so he like two or three steps removed from the streets. Cause like with this church thing, I think that's a Ponzi scam. I think the dude setting him up for a Ponzi scam. Like he he excited about it, but his mom's not not so excited about it. You know what I'm saying? He is like, oh man, we got to, we gonna invest in church. We're gonna be able to do this. We're gonna be able to do that. And she like I'm like, nah, you need to be paid. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for you for your promise. Get me out the streets. But I just right. think. Up for the Ponzi scam, you know, and I think if it take for a ride, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna end well. It ain't gonna end well because I think old boy taking it for it. Like, you just like Clay David, bro. He yeah, a ride. He gonna, he gonna take it for a ride and he gonna mess around. Have to, he gonna be dumping all that money into the church and it's probably gonna just be nothing but, you know, and dude gonna get over on him. Yep. And then he gonna have to, then he gonna feel so, so type of way. He gonna, I, I, now he got to kill him. Yep. Now he got to kill because he's probably gonna get him for millions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro, because that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's just going to, he got all his money and he can't do nothing. He can't really do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? He just got that money piled up. Bro, you make, imagine how much how much room $8 million take up, like, monthly. Man. You know what exactly. I'm saying? You, he got to, he got to do something with that money, man. You got to expand. You want, if you want to expand, you want to go legitimate, you got to get your, you got to, and then they buying all his properties, buying all his businesses and stuff like that, man. Like, they trying to go, he trying, like, his mama want him to go legit. But he enjoyed that dope game. He enjoyed, he enjoyed that dope. He enjoyed what about it. this though? What you think about his bodyguard quitting on him? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you, you can't be. You, that's what I'm saying. That's what I would say, man. You gotta get out there and, and build your build your squad up now. You can't wait. And people are already quitting and dying on you. Gonna be down to just you, Jerome, and your auntie. How you gonna? What you gonna do then? What you gonna do then? Yeah. And that's, yeah. I think them being able to expand to different cities allow them to uh, open the show up a little bit more. Because otherwise, you just keep it in L.A. and then you right. gonna play the story for so long. So I think this is where the writers can kind of like expand the show, put 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 Franklin on the road. He go to Arkansas, he go to a different city, kind of go establish themselves. Then you got yeah. the, got you got new new uh, new people coming to the show, and that's how you keep the keep the show going for a couple of seasons. But honestly, bro, I think the, I wish the show was on like like a network like like Stars or HBO or some some other network. You know, like it's good on FX, but I think it'll be a little bit more graphic. If it was on one of them other channels, bro, like I think, I think it'd be a little bit more graphic, bro. I kind of like it like this though, because I feel like shows on on shows on like networks like like, like Stars or some uh, where they could be graphic, they let the graphic scenes take over. Like it takes away from the story, mm. right? Because it takes away from the story because you can kind of carry a show with scene. a lot of yeah, a lot of sex scenes, a lot of uh, you know, killing action, like yeah. you know what I mean. But we can't do it now. You got to actually they talk right. You got, you got story. Got to do storytelling. Yeah, that story got to be dope. And they do a job with the storytelling on it. They do a great job the storytelling. The, the cinema, cinematography on it is great, man. They have a nice moody feel to it. Like that yeah. scene, like that scene when they was in the car when they had that shootout scene, bro. Man, that scene, that scene was shot so good, bro. Yeah. Every aspect you got Leon looking at the ice cream man. You got the car pulling up. You don't because you don't know what's happening, but you see the car in the distance, but you don't really pay attention to it because they focus yeah. on the gun and they talking about the conversation in the car. And then you go from the guy pulling up and you see Leon face look at the guy. Then they they pan to the guy looking at Leon and they both yeah. really like man. And then they just pull out the yeah. pistols just straight out the window. They both pull them out and just let them things go, bro. Then the big man, boy bro. got the gun. Then the big boy got the shotgun in the front seat. In the front seat, doom, doom. He let him. <laughs> And go in the front seat. Then you get oh, man. Then Leon come out the car with he, he dropped it, he throw the gun down, and he pull out the ooze, let that thing go. And they show the bullets in the back going through the back seat. Then of course he saw the little girl shot, man. But just how they yeah, shot sure. that whole how they shot that whole scene, bro. That was just so dope. And like yeah. said, I mean the cinematography, it's just it's almost like a John Singleton special, bro. Like how he do that type of stuff. It feels like yeah. it feels like boys in the hood, bro. It feels like boys in the hood. And it's like it's just like the closer it got. 
like the scene started getting quieter. Like it's yeah. like every, like a lot of you can hear the birds, cars, or whatever, whatever. But then the closer the dude came down the street, and the closer the uh the ice cream man, this is like all you was able to hear was a ring, ring, the little ring, and it's like you couldn't hear nothing else. Like he took everything out, and it was like then it, like to me as a viewer, you're like, damn, ooh, this was something about to go down. Damn. Like why it got hella quiet. It, it is like he had he had the, the viewer focus in on the, the ringing of the bell. Like yep. like damn, what, what's about to go down? You now, know? Sound engineer, that's a sound engineer, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you had yeah. one little sound and then all of a sudden you just see the pull up and the gunshots and you just hear the girl crying. It just like the scene was just shot so so well, bro. Like, you know what I mean? And just having that ability to like have the, the sun in the right place and have the lighting right, bro. It was just it was yeah. just amazing how they shot that scene, bro. And just to see how it all went down and old boy, old boy at the car, throw him on the ground, jump in, they pull off and you just- Come on, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, and just seeing just seeing Leon face after he saw, he realized he shot the little girl in the back seat, and just like he was just devastated, bro. He was he was so devastated that he shot the little girl in the back seat. Like, let you know that that like humanized him at the in that moment. Like when he realized yeah. that the little girl was in the back seat, that humanized him. And he was just like, man, what did I just do? He just had that what the fuck moment. Like, what did I just stuck? Yeah, yeah. It was just like it just like done. I'm like, what did I just? Big boy had to snap him out of it because he was just standing there like you know you could hit it then. In the, in the faint background, you heard the sirens, yeah. right? And Big Boy's like, hey, we got to go. And he, but Leon was stuck like, oh, man, we just killed this little girl in the back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, so it was just like, it was just that whole scene. But I think it's going to be, it's going to really get, it's going to return up another the next couple episodes because you got to think about now, the uh, the reporter lady, you know, she would have been trying to uh, chase down this guy all for the last whole episode. And all of a sudden she come home at night and he's sitting on the couch waiting on him. He's like, I heard you been looking for me. And he kind of break down what's going on, what really happened. He's like, look, you can't be focusing on, you need to be focusing on who protecting Franklin. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there was a murder went down. It's like, and they, they let him know about his partner probably being dead. Like, and she just, being her eyes being, just waking up, to, you know, just like, wow, like this really going on. Yeah. Like this really, yeah. on. like it's, it's like, we finally, she was like, cause he said, who you think high enough to kind of like, uh, to make this happen. Yeah. And she said, go make a murder of a DEA undercover go away. And she said, what Reagan, she said, Reagan. She was like, you can, you can get warmer. And you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She was like, what? She's like, it's this hot? And yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, he she, like, about to, she about to get murked. They gonna murk her out. bro. Bro, she finna be, she finna dig into the story, bro. We finna, cause she knows she try to run up on his pops. His pops won't have me. Like, look, man, he too smart. Like, I heard you about Black Panther. You doing all good? Like, I'm married. Like, look, I ain't said y'all was married. We never discussed this. Like, you need to be catching up. Send on about yeah. it. Get on, get on, get on. I ain't got get nothing. We, yeah, we, we, you ain't about to play me like this. You get to kick rocks. Yeah, but he gave her that folder. He gave her that folder with all the information in it. And you already know she finna just take it and break it down. And just put the pieces together, bro. And like I said, it's finna get it's finna get heavy, bro. It's finna get heavy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, 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 man, yeah. Cause he gave her the whole folder. Like he, she got everything now. Everything broke it down to her. Broke it down like let her know that the, how they was running, you know what was going on undercover. You know she gonna she gonna probably gonna go back and run her mouth to either the, the dad or somebody gonna get wind of it or Reed. Reed probably gonna get wind of it. Oh, it's over. Make some because think about it, she was doing all that calling her and her, and her, her co worker, the partner, they doing all that calling around, and then he just show up in the middle of the night. So, you already know what kind of kind of noise she was making, you know, trying to, trying to track these people down. And they trying to cover it up or cover up a murder, a DEA murder, and an undercover agent gone missing. Like, they like try they covered it up because they, yeah. they, they they moving eight million a month in coke into the country, into the country, bro. 